Hello everyone, my name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you the funny and easy way to control LED strips via Cinema 4D effectors and touch designer. So all of us know the video from Ken Kamura and his amazing setup that he do for his light strips. And let's recreate this effect in our setup. So first of all we need to imagine that this cube is the part of pixel, our LED strip. It's one pixel. So for my example I have a 30 pixels LED strip. Let's create it. Okay, it's my LED strip. So I can turn off all colors and to control color of the strip I can use a plane effector. So for example with a spherical field increase the size and now we can see that we don't need a position now we can see that by this way we already can control color of our clones okay and now we can find a solution to send the graph data to the touch designer so in cinema 4d we can select our cloner and create a python effector we don't need to affect a position and so the important things first we want to do with this effector is to change mode to full control okay now open python editor paste code so as i say the first part of this code is all about creation create the utp connection and in the second part of this code in the main part so we can get all MoGraph data that we have in our scene from standard Cinema 4D function. Then we calculate how much count we have of our LED strips. And now we can send the messages. So for all pixels, one by one, we can create some variable color that storage all RGB color from our MoGraph, create some index and create a message that consists of strip uh, let's strip index some dividers that we will use in touch designer and data r g and b color and send it our message to our server okay let's compile it no errors okay so we need to press play in cinema 4d and dive into touch designer in touch designer we create udp in node then write the port that we declared in cinema 4d code and we see that we already have some data. Change it mode to one per message. Okay, we have our array of data from our MoGraph. So let's create a table that will receive the messages. Let's write operator table one, zero row, zero column equals message. Okay, now we have our message. So we need to divide it. First of all, we need to divide index from indexes. Let's transpose it to the vertical way. And now we have first our index R, G and B color. So let's divide it by this symbol. Okay, it's an easy way to understand what is what. Now we need to convert it to the tops. Okay, so output channel per column. And now we have a visual representation of R, G and B colors. So the Cinema 4D send us values from 0 to 1 and the mate data is from 0 to 255. We need to multiply it to range 255. So to control your LED strip, you need SPI controller. I will use this type of controller. He have a 16 universes that connected to all of my LED strip. You can use the easiest one or any way you need to use an SPI decoder. So what we do now, we can create a DMX out. Interface is ArtNet, RAID 44. Okay, we can create. so. Each of my LED strip connect to each universe of my controller. And so the, basically I can use one DMX out to this universe, create second and 
connected to second universe. But if you have a huge amount of universes, you have a huge amount of the mix out jobs, and it uh, makes your performance harder. So the way to save your performance is to change format to per sample. And now we have the things that called the mix out routing table. So how can we use it? So for example, all our RGB data we can shuffle into one channel. We can sequence all samples. And now we have to connect it to our DMX out. And in DMX out, we create row. So channel name is chain one, net zero, subnet zero, universe zero. Okay. And in DMX out, I will write my address of my controller. And for now, as you can see, I have to light up some segments of my LED strip. Dive into Cinema 4D and let's animate our spherical field. Okay, cool. Now we have control our LED strips with a Cinema 4D fields. We can easily change the colors, for example, make it blue, adding some animations. We have a little delay because it's all of my camera. Okay, that's cool. And for example, let's create a huge amount. So in my setup, I have a 30, 13 LED tools. For now, let's stop it for this time. Let's stop touch designer. Okay, so what we can do now, we can create MoGraph, another cloner, put this cloner into this cloner. So create 13 clones. Okay, this is my setup. So what I can do now is to make it editable, make all clones editable, delete without children. Okay, don't worry. And now we create a fracture because we need to all our clones in a one object, a one homograph object, and connect it to our Python code. So delete without children now we can we have our fracture turn off the color and now we can simply add our plane effector in this fracture okay activate it we see that we save all our effects so let's increase field size okay and now we can grab our python in our fracture. So let's play, open touch designer. For example, I turn off my DMX for this time. Okay, hit play. And now in touch designer, we see that we already have 391 rows. Okay. So in a shuffle, we have a huge amount of our channels. And what we need to do now is to do is to separate all of, all of my channels to each universes. So I can use trim node in absolute, and I can write some expression. For example, I can write me that digits minus one and multiply it by ninety because. Uh, each uh, LED strip have a 19 channels. I have 30 LEDs, RGB, 30 multiply 3 equals 19. Okay, and for this one, I can simply write. Okay, now I have the channels from 0 to 19. If I copy this, I have 19 from 180, and I will do this for all of my part of my strip. I have 13. Well, okay. okay, so the next thing that you can see that we have now the samples from 0 to 19, 19 for 181, but we need to use all samples from 0 to 19. So, and for this task, we can use a shift node 
in a absolute mode. Okay, so let's create it for all of my And now all we need to do is to merge all of these channels. Merge. Okay. Touch designer have to rename all of these channels by their names. Okay, and now we can connect it to our TMX out and activate it. Okay, let's check that we have no ISIS from this. For example, I can use my spherical field. Yeah, and now we need to make some routing. Okay, so now as you can see we can control all of our 13 universes with only one DMX out node. And now let's check how it works. So I can move my spherical field and I have its representation on my setup in a real life. Okay, cool. And so now it all depends of you, so you can change it, for example, to another color, make it blue, so in a field you can simply add, for example, some box field, yeah, and for now we have control our LED strips with our box, yeah, and so the, there is, okay, cool. And so don't forget to find my touch designer and Arduino course. In this course we will create interactive installations, we will create communicate with Arduino, with such a different protocols, serial, Bluetooth, UDP, TCP, OSC, so you can control your sensors via Wi-Fi, connect the sensors to touch designer, drive a stepper motors and create real-time visuals and real-time installations. So good luck and see you soon.